The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption would be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasmin. All right, then. I'm going. I'm nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a sidewall collapse. How typical of the Alliance. To destroy everything that's in the way. Radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation of other people. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest.
there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. No. I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh no, Astrogator, they're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed them? Just what the hell? I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure.
I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. Giant cranes pulling something out of a, well, giant hole. Interesting. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here, sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doc. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. <sighs> the photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel. Running from... Whatever's in there. But are we still considering when you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind, if not for our link. You help me keep it together, sir. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Can't you see what it was aiming for? Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Both were false. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them, one by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One of them's raising his hands. He's surrendering. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no.
The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. from beyond the tunnel. I can't I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. now there's nothing here I haven't seen before just a lot of metal bushes same as the ones near our camp seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop what task carrying boxes it took one but never left why do you think it's stuck well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, let's put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the Alliance came to pick the fruits. took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior.
roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. <sighs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, yes? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... Oh, grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule us out. Can you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies, which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. <sighs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. Disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. I must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. If 
you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed... This could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Actually, it's right in front of me. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Test luck here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day base. This is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. OK. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. 
Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. 
No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. Field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational, probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. I know how to get inside, under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it.
Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little Proby. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Bit scared of you, too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're gonna take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. First, the Energo bot. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Is the probe still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. A problem. Meaning? Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? What if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. <laughs> and you sound like a fool, sir. How can you be so sure? We were clueless just a moment ago. We've only just begun to understand what's going on. But you already know how to handle it. Yasna, I promise you, we'll analyze everything thoroughly. Now we need to focus on getting you out of there. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. First, though, 
I'd like to check the cargo. Very well. Just hurry up. Must admit. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black holes have been in the stratosphere. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. Keep your count. a group of these flies could be. I can tell you. Yes, yes, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. 